Hi everyone. So I heard, uh, well, a few people have contacted me about uh, issues with the login and sign up. So I'm going to show you just exactly what's happening on my website at the moment. Wonder if I can get this up on an incognito browser. So if I show you this, it'll basically show you the login is registering or so the login and sign up is, is working as uh, you would expect. But if you have either automatically updated this which is the enable auto updates uh, or you've updated this yourself I think what's happening is uh, to do with a caching issue so if I just wait until this updates and then I'll give this page a refresh and see if this breaks so click go yeah so it completely breaks it all together so how do we fix this you know this is obviously quite important to the website registers done as well so hopefully I'll, I'll fix it with you now. First thing to do is clear your cache. Clear the cache on the website. Usually you'll have a, a wee button at the very top here. However you clear cache, if you've got a different uh, website to EZWP, you're going to have to look into that yourself, Just, but I'm sure it'll be pretty obvious. Uh, next, we'll go down to the login and sign up settings, which is currently... Not working. Maybe I'll give that a refresh. Going on the sign up settings. Yeah, it looks like it's everything's changed. So brilliant. Um, so things pretty much get kicked back to where they were at the very start. So login redirect. So if you leave empty, yep, yeah, you want to leave all this empty. Just copy these endpoints. If yours is any different. So it seems okay there. If we go then to style, head on down. I think this pop-up width was 500 by 400. Double check that. I think this was a lot less. I'm just going to get a website up that I have these settings so I can copy them. Right, okay. Just bear with me one second. So 500 by 530. 20 by 10. Sidebar width, zero. Let's save that at the bottom there. Make sure all those settings are saved. Advanced, there's nothing else in advanced. All good there. So, if you once you clear the cache, clear the cache in your um your website as well. However you do that, you know there's Google Chrome and there's Safari, all those kind of things. Clear the cache on your um on your local device. So that could be you know as well as clearing your browser history, you can clear your cache at the same time. I'm sure, you all know how to do that. So if I give this a refresh, there's chances that this might not work because I haven't actually change anything yet so yours might look something like this nothing works one way to clear your cache very quickly is to do control shift c brings up this and then you can do a wee trick which is right clicking on here the refresh empty cache and hard reload and hopefully by a bit of magic whoa we're back up and we're on again now <clears throat> if you for some reason can't clear cache can't do anything like this uh your cache will um expire usually after about 10 to 12 hours so that you know once you make all these changes and obviously put things back to normal uh these settings will refresh and everything go back to normal uh but obviously that's not the ideal solution okay hopefully that helped a few people i know i've got been getting a few questions today so all the best cheers